All right, you're coming to the gym and you might have sustained a small injury or a big injury or something that's been lingering forever, but I don't wanna see you not go to the gym. And so today I'm gonna to provide you modifications for some of the basic exercise that we're gonna do at Fit Club. And we're gonna start with squats. Now when it comes to squatting, I get it. You know, like my knees are sore too. And to get down into that full squat, you know, that's very difficult. Even just to do that, I felt that all in my hips. Knees are actually feeling pretty good today. So a couple modifications that you do. The simplest one is we don't wanna grab any weights, okay? Your first goal when it comes to squatting is you wanna be able to get down into that full range. When you can get down to that full range, you can then start loading it with weights. Even light weights is still extra weight that you shouldn't be doing. So if you can't squat all the way down, then what you should do is just start with partials, okay? Start with partial squats until you're able to get yourself down lower. Now, even if partial squats bother you, just do mini squats. You're still activating glutes. You're still stimulating the recovery process, but eventually you wanna be able to get down into those full squats. All right, when it comes to any type of pressing, such as shoulder pressing like what I'm doing or chest pressing, the first modification that you can do is just go down to lighter weights. So even if you're doing lighter weights with full range of motion, it's still better than nothing. If you go see a rehab specialist, the first thing you're gonna try to do is just to get that arm through the full range of motion. So I'm gonna save you some money, just show up to the gym and just work that arm through the full range of motion, whether it be a chest press, whether it be a shoulder press, whatever it is, you can always go lighter weights or you can just come in and just do the shoulder press through the full range of motion, just like the chest press. Even if you're not new using weights, you're still activating the muscle, you're still gaining range of motion, and you're still creating a recovery process for that shoulder injury. Now, a lot of people don't like to do jumping jacks, but I'm gonna tell you this right now, a traditional jumping jack doesn't really involve the knee. So when you're doing jumping jacks, it's actually just through the ankle. Now, a full jumping jack is like this, and yes, that can be difficult, but if you want to just do light jumping jacks where your arms don't go up all the way and your feet just kind of go side to side, you can do that as well. Now, a modification from just doing small mini ones from big, big ones is I've seen people do the kickouts to the side. So even if you're just moving your body, you're still getting your arms involved, you're still getting your legs involved, it's still a jumping jack, you're still getting the cardio, but your ultimate goal is to go from this and then do a couple of these, go back into this, do a couple of these, and eventually we're gonna go from a couple of these to the full jumping jacks. The infamous lunges. Nobody likes to lunge, but I'm gonna tell you, if you can lunge down all the way to the floor where your back knee can hit the ground and you come back up, you've got great knee health, okay? Because there's gonna be a lot of times in your life where you're gonna have to perform that movement. So your ultimate goal is to get into that full lunge, touch that back knee down, and push yourself back up. And I always tell people when they're working with me on the blue, is that you cannot touch a weight until you can show me that you can touch that back knee down to the floor. Now, if your knees are screaming and you cannot do a full range of motion lunge, just body weight, definitely don't pick up any weight, okay? Your first goal is to be able to do that full lunge with just your body weight. Now, if your knees are screaming and you wanna focus on just body movement and rehab so that we can get you back to that full lunge, then again, just go into partial lunges, okay? You're still bending the knee and you're still getting that quad involved, okay? So if it's a pulsing lunge, then just don't step back as far. So what I would like to see is a full lunge like this, okay? That's a full lunge. So that's the goal. But you might only do this. And I'm okay with that. Partial lunges. Now, if you have a pole near you and you wanna try and go for that full range, grab that pole to offload some of the weight and use it to pull yourself up and down because we wanna get you through that full range of motion and I wanna see you lunging with the best of them.